head back to class for the first time in person in nearly five months for the EVSC. And that's where Joe Bird is today. He's at the EVSC bus garage where drivers are ready to head out for this first day. And Joe, we know there's been so much preparation and now we're kind of at the hour where these buses are about to take off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jake, you're exactly right. I was talking earlier with the chief communications officer here with the EVSC, Jason Wipkenberg, and he says, you know, usually over the summer, uh, they're still busy, but, you know, they get to have a little bit of a summer break. He said, but this year, it has been meeting after meeting after meeting. He said, even yesterday, we were still having meetings, just making sure that we have everything crossed off uh, that we can think of to make sure that when we get these buses rolling, it's just back in school tomorrow, that everything is going to be safe for them to come back to school. He says, we have social distancing taking place, uh, spaces between desks, even some uh, classroom changes, things of that nature as well. But, you know, earlier, in the, about the month or so ago, you may recall the EVSC actually gave a couple the options for parents to choose if they felt that they did not want their child to go back to school just yet as for a safe precaution. So here are some of those options uh, that the parents have when it came to uh, their options for returning their child back to school. There was option A, which was just going back to school, just like many are doing to today. That's just the default traditional option, if you will, what they call the brick and mortar school buildings, in-person settings, adjusted uh, actions, of course, because of the COVID-19 virus with social distancing and things like that taking place in school. But they also had another option. That was option B, which is a temporary setting that is connected to the school and to the teachers. Now, it offers a little bit of flexibility for the students who need a temporary option to continue learning at home before returning back into school itself with option A. And then there was also option C as well, which is the virtual academy. It's a semester or even just a year-long enrollment, and it's uh, actually part of a nationally renowned virtual academy. And now when I was talking with Jason about that option earlier, he says, you know, kind of when it first came out, it was more of just like a high school thing. He goes, but now we've got it K through 12, and he said there are about 2,000 students enrolled in that program so far for this year when it comes to the virtual academy. He says, but, you know, we've worked so hard as best as we can to really make sure that when these students return back to school today that they're going to be uh, as safe as they can be with the social distancing and things of that nature taking place, Drake and Gretchen.